So I'm heading for the Trans Fargassian Highway today. It's uh, Romania's highest paved road and it uh, winds up over uh, that mountain ridge. Um, it's like the hardest uh, pass of the Romanians equivalent of the Tour de France. So it's uh, closed this time of year. So um, hopefully I'll be able to get all the way through. If not, it's not a big deal. I just kind of want to see it all. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to go through. I'll take you guys along on the journey uh, through the trends for gassing. So I'm entering the clouds now. Hopefully the weather stays good. Um, I met a German couple who was motorcycling up the baby, so uh, hopefully there's a way to get through. <laughs> um, it's amazing though. Uh, probably the prettiest road I've ever been on. Weather conditions are pretty bad. It's uh, pouring rain. Uh, someone gave me word that it's going to start thundering and uh, there's supposed to be a lot of snow up ahead and pretty much every motorcycle team that came up ended up coming back down just because of the conditions. So I'm going to keep going forward and uh, wait to see if the snow is too much and uh, maybe just turn around just because I don't want to do anything too stupid, you know. So I decided I'm going to do myself a favor and turn around. Um, pretty much everyone that was going up uh, came back because they said it was too nasty up there. And instead of climbing up over this hill, um, I'd rather just have a nice downhill. And uh, yeah, I'll get to go to Brasov first and uh, uh, a little upset, but you know, this is how things work. So I'm in Sinea now, which is a town outside of uh, Bucharest. Um, I had a great time, went through Brasov and uh, met a fellow solo bike traveler, uh, this guy Sasha, who's a German. He, uh, he just was in Estonia and Russia and had been biking in the winter in like negative 20 degree weather, so uh, we had a lot of fun stories to share. I actually, the way I met him, I was biking on the side of the road coming back from the transfer gash and, and I, was, uh, I was a little bummed, you know, and uh, this big uh, red uh, Land Cruiser with a sticker that said uh, One Life Live It on the back of it and just stickers from all over the world pulled up alongside me and stopped me and told me about the guy that uh, would be in Brasov, so it was kind of fake that we met. Um, but I, uh, I think I learned a lot from going for the transfer gash and, and backing out because, um, uh, you know, sometimes uh, we, uh, we kind of like put too much expectation on ourselves and uh, I think we can learn a lot of... Hey! So I think in life we always want to do stuff that's going to benefit ourselves, you know, um, the thing that we kind of identify with. But um, I think it's important to realize that we have two selves. We have our lower self, which is kind of our identity and our ego, and kind of like, uh, you know, what we build our character on, what we uh, kind of relate with in the physical world. And then we have our higher self, which are kind of our morals and like uh, what we consider our values to be and, you know, the principled side of us. And I think recently I've been really trying to intend a lot for my lower self. Um, I've been looking for a lot of adventure, and I think adventure is kind of uh, something where there's a lot of bragging rights to it, and you know, you have stories and like saying, oh, I went through this, and the transfergation was definitely my limit as far as uh, I kind of woke up to the fact that I was really intending things for my lower self and not for my higher self. 
So I was really happy that I made the decision to kind of stop stop doing that and to take the other route. And funny enough, as soon as I uh, as soon as I came to terms with that and started focusing on kind of the fact that this is the spiritual uh, spiritual adventure that I'm looking for, not exactly the like uh, mountaineering adventure. I uh, met a lot of really like insightful people that gave me a lot of really uh, really great advice. I met a guy uh, in Brasov who was actually a PR person, and he uh, he kind of showed me the way of the force of kind of uh, you know getting my name out there and gave me a lot of advice of uh, how I could like spread my message better and use it. Uh, for good with uh, like different different organizations throughout Europe. So, um, you know, I could have pushed through through the through the Fargashian and been wet and cold and you know would have had a story to tell. But I think I have uh, some insights to talk about now that I've backed down and started focusing on my higher self. So I'm uh, going to Bucharest uh, hopefully by tomorrow. I'm staying with a guy, a Romanian guy, who is on a website called Warm Showers, which. It's like a hosting website for people who do bike touring. So he seems like a cool guy. He's a young architect living in the city. And uh, I'm happy that I'm uh, still being able to experience this beautiful nature, even though it's not the route that I originally planned. But I think this is more of a peaceful route. So that's, uh, that's all I look for. So all right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.